All right, thank you, Kev. It would have been the second sweep in three years for the Mavs, but they said this season is not ending on our floor in a sweep. They stay alive, beating the Rockets 121 to 109. Highlights of all four games today and the analysis of Shaq, Kenny, and Chuck. Uh, First installment of. Oh, and go fishing! We've got some teams that have to go. Oh, oh, oh. And it's all coming up on Inside. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. It's coming up in just a few minutes, the Sprint Halftime Report. Kenny, Shaq, and Charles are here. They're going to break down the Rockets and Mavs, highlights of the Cavs and Celtics, and later tonight inside the NBA with a rare pre-midnight start. Uh-oh, did I miss that one? Yeah. 12.01? 12.02. Dog my cats. Anyway, How long does that show mean? anyway? What does <laughs> dog my cats As mean? long as we want it to be. It can mean anything you want it to mean. Uh, inside the NBA is presented by Kia. Ernie Johnson. <laughs> Don't push the button. Shaquille O'Neal. Kenny the Jets. I'm excited man. tonight. This Charles is our Barker. first uh, s sessions of gone fishing. So did you yeah. have to talk all night, that means? I'm going to let you punch me in the face as hard as you want to. I bet you can't <laughs> knock me out. That's, hey. what, it, that's what it's going to feel like, paper. Yeah, okay. Monday. Uh, the night starts on Ooh. NBA TV at 7. Hawks and Nets. Brooklyn trying to tie that series. Here on TNT. 8 o'clock. Bucks and Bulls. Uh, Bulls trying to clinch. Grizzlies and Blazers as Memphis goes for the sweep. It's See if be, Portland can do what uh, the Mavs did tonight. It's going to be interesting without Mike Connolly. It is, as a matter of fact. Houston and Dallas. Oh, hey, man, that's hey, really cool. Hey, appreciate the love. That is really cool. Love y'all, too, Dallas. Dallas. Thank y'all. Are we going to show James Harden outfit walking in again? Uh, no, it's too late. He's already there. Oh, uh, Dwight Howard. Come on, Kenny. Come on, Kenny. Superman is in the building. Hey, sounds almost it's like It's over, Kenny. <laughs> let it go. I'm going to let it go. Howard, 10 points in the first quarter, Shaq. Yeah, he came out. He's ready to play five for five. Kind of I can't wait. to in second, third, and fourth quarter, but he was ready to play in that first quarter. But I can't wait to have him out, The match to get him a statue down in Orlando. <laughs> Stop stirring it up, will you? James Harden. <laughs> oh. Houston on top. 34 to 25 after one. So they're going to cruise to a sweep here, right? No. Oh, no, no, no. Oak Dallas can score one point. Oh. What a pass. What a catch. Oh, that's a nice play by Jefferson. That 36 point second quarter for the Mavs at home. JJ Barea to Monte Ellis. Monte Ellis has played well for the Mavs through all three. year. Through three. Oh. Oh. That's through three. Here's Barea into the starting lineup. Oh my gosh, he just and, oh, and he responds with a double double, as does Alpha Rico Minu, a new starter. Easy for you to say. I thought I did. Uh, well, 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 Charlie, Charlie, Charlie villain the wave. Uh, huh? The okay, defense is taking a break this series. Correa is going to miss here, but watch Tyson Chandler. Mm, give me that. Oh. Mab 61-53. He still got at the break. Nicholas bouncing his leg for. Third quarter, Years, Mavs he? outscore the Rockets 33 to 22. In fact, Houston didn't oh, get a basket. Man, that's that's a that. wow, really? Houston didn't get a basket until about the four-minute mark of the third quarter. Mm. Perea, who's he got? Monte. Oh, Monte with the shirt. Yeah. Well, that's played with a lot of fire, and they were saying, "Look, you know, we ain't getting swept." It's embarrassing to get swept. Monte. I wouldn't know nothing about oh, that. Yeah, you wouldn't know about it six times. Smothers that one by Jason Terry. Shot clock violation. Alpharico Minu. Alpharico Minu. Wow. 16 and 12. But his defense was probably. Oh, give me that. His, his ability to make James Harden into a passer and say, especially when the game was kind of getting. Oh, oh this was a move by Monte. Sweet work. Ah. Get him, off me. Put him sweet in work that, right there. Put him in that spin cycle. Made it 81-57. It was 94-75 going to the fourth, and Houston did make a little run. Josh Smith. I don't understand how you can shoot threes, but you can't shoot free throws. Yeah, Josh Smith had 18 points in the fourth quarter. I don't understand that. I, I really don't. I tell you what, though, if you're the Mavs, damn, let him keep shooting. <laughs> impressed, that impressed uh, yeah. Shaq. They got it down to single. The iron leg. The iron leg jumper, Ernie. Oh, look at Dirk. 16-8-4 for Nowitzki. 
Ellis goes for 31. 31, 6 and 3. Maninu goes for 16 and 12. Berea 17 and 13. Tyson Chandler 10 and 14. All kind of double doubles as Dallas. Well, that's because nobody stays playing alive. Defense. Look at everybody on the Houston board got double doubles too. Not everybody. Looks like it. Well, <laughs> read them. 20, 24, 23, 23. Yeah, those are all separate stats, but that's way beside the point. Second and third quarters, 69 to 41 advantage. Wow. Wow. Uh, it's just overall. And Houston shooting 28% in those middle two quarters. Again, I, like Chuck hit it on the head. I mean, defensively, the Rockets, you know, have always been a little bit challenged. Uh, but tonight, they didn't challenge at all. And that was the difference. And that, that is going to be the difference, separation, if you're going to want to be a championship team or not, is the ability to defend and not wait until Dwight Howard blocks a shot. It's not defense. That is the last line of defense. They have to learn to play front line D. Is there hope if you're Dallas right now? Well, I think there's hope. I hope you don't wear this outfit again. <laughs> uh, what don't you like about this? I, I don't like what men wear skirts. That's not a skirt. That's no, a dude. shirt. That's a dude. It's a that's, long shirt. It's a shirt. It's a long shirt under a short shirt. Yeah. <laughs> see, I is, hope. <laughs> you see, <laughs> if you have to guess what an outfit is, it's not a good one. Okay. Okay. Is there hope? For, is there hope if you're Dallas? Yeah, I think there's hope for Dallas because number one, the, the Rockets don't put fear in your heart. You know you're going to get any shot that you want. They're going to shoot threes. You're going to get any. Ernie, they're going to get. They scored 128 points last game and lost. So they know that they, they, Dallas, uh, Houston is not going to stop them. So it's, it's going to come down to who can score the most. I know, I know that sounds silly, but it's going to be who's going to score the you most. You laughed when Shaq said it earlier. Yeah, but I'm saying it clearly. Well, you, you, know, you, you're asking about Toronto though. But I'm saying, you, you, Kenny talked about it. Neither one of these teams are good defensively. And you're going to get a Well, good, I mean, if you look at the analytics on it, Chuck, uh, Houston's top 10. Top 10 what? Defense. That, that's to see, that's to, Ernie, Defensive uh, efficiency. They are. Uh, well, that telling you. Ernie, did that look like top 10 team tonight? They gave 128 points last game, Ernie. 128. And they scored 130 anyway. Yeah, uh, but I, I no, know, but you give up 128. You gave up 121 in the tonight. I mean, you're not a top 10 defensive team. You, I've never heard of a top 10 defensive <laughs> team giving up that amount. Of I know. Uh, the, I what they what they do is they Dwight Howard's his last line of defense. Yes, but also you know. They, they're very good in the half court because James Harden, Harden will take 10 seconds to make a move at times. But he is efficient at it, kind of what Carmelo Anthony used to do. Uh, but he may be not as efficient as James Harden has been this year at using the shot clock. So that will keep the score down, but they don't play D. Jeremy, you, you're <laughs> telling me uh, Rick Carlisle? Oh, let's, let's listen. Hey, everybody's staying ready. And uh, you know we're we're staying aggressive. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep attacking. Coach, how physical was this game? Five texts and fifty-two fouls. Are you asking me a? Yeah, I mean the physicality of the. You asking me a question about the officiating? <laughs> no, no. I brought something just just for that. <laughs> I'm talking about the physicality of the game. I gotta be careful. They may. Yeah, I mean. What happens when you get fined 25 large after, uh, after 25, game three? 25,000. I think yeah. the NBA go overboard on these fines sometimes. No, you need to get fined in here sometime. Why? You want, you, want, you want coaches ripping on refs all the time? They're, you, trying, to, they're trying to you, limit you, that somewhat. You can criticize refs, but just, just say, hey, I'm going to take $25,000. That's a lot of money. It goes to charity. Yeah, that's not the point. Yeah, it's not your money, though. <laughs> it's easy to give away other people money. Yeah, I, I, I do. think it, it, it does compromise the integrity of the game when the people or the participants – get on the refs at times, to that degree, to the degree that he, he went. However, $25,000 is a lot of money already. Well, uh, and everybody was so telling say, me, I know. I love all these guys. You, you hear all these fans talk about, well, you know, these guys make a lot of money. They always wanted to give away other people's money. <laughs> Come on, man. You just can't say, hey, give me $25,000. I know it's well, going to refs. charity. What do you think? Well, I think this game, uh, Dallas came out. You know, they played. Played with a lot of effort, played with a lot of energy. They played desperate, and I think Houston just took them lightly. Game really means nothing except the point that for Dallas, we didn't get swept. I think Houston, they're going to go back. They're going to sleep in their beds. They're going to go through their routine. Uh, go through their routine. Their fans going to be there, and they're going to blow them out by 15, 20. Dallas is done. However, if Dallas can win the game, <laughs> and they, I'm not, you know, okay. it's a big, you know, however, but, you know, this happens. You know, Houston was up 3-0, probably got a little bit too comfortable. 
let one slip away. So which no. is it? Which is it? They're going to go and blow them out? No, yeah, they're, they're going to go. They're going to go. You know, it's going to be an emotional game. Houston fans are going to be just as pumped up as the Dallas fans were. And, you know, the shots that wouldn't fall off for, for you, you know, all those guys today, they will be falling in Houston. Series over. <laughs> when we come back. Uh, I was wondering who he going to sit Hurdy, you let it, Hurdy. Pivotal game four. And Hurdy, you let this guy talk and repeat himself a hundred times. Now you're going to play the music. Look at you, man. You know, <laughs> underdog. Pivotal game off. four in the Clippers first. First of all, series. look, hey, Shaq, you remember you said those weren't my real arms? We're going to uh, no, buy some Photoshop. Photoshop. No. That's not Photoshop. Photoshop. Yeah. We're going to take you to San Antonio for the highlights. Those are your real arms Thanks. and your real double Ds. <laughs> and your real dress. <laughs> and your real dress. <laughs> Throw some Ds on it. <laughs> All season long, players have brought fashion to the forefront. Now that the playoffs are here, it's time to elevate the style stakes. It's East versus West in the fashion game, and we want you to pick the winning team. Will it be the dashingly dapper dudes from the East, or will the laid back sleek style of the West prevail? Post or tweet your choice throughout the NBA playoffs. Let's see who wins the NBA Styles fashion faceoff. For more NBA style clips, log on to NBA.com slash style. Easily the most compelling first-round series has featured the Clippers, who earned the number three spot in the West but drew the reigning champion Spurs. The Clippers dominated game one. The Spurs prevailed in overtime in game two and then came home and blew out the Clips in game three. So would game four bring us a deadlock series or put the Spurs a win away from the conference semifinals? Next stop, AT&T Center for game four. And Chris Paul, who had that huge game one, would answer the bell again in game four against San Antonio. Kawhi Leonard, after a 6 nothing Clippers start, sparks an 8 nothing San Antonio response. Meantime, Blake Griffin. If you're going to foul him, foul him. Don't slap him on the wrist. Jamal Crawford. That's a Tyria. He's, oh. got, he's got DeAndre Jordan. Oh. The Clippers with 10 assists on their first 12 field goals in the first quarter. Oh, my goodness. And the game was tied at 25 after one. Patty Mills. Mm. Oh. Set play. Don't die. Yeah, that was out of the timeout. Set play. Out of that timeout. Spurs are the best at that one. They need J.J. Redick. Mm. And he delivered on Sunday. J.J. with the floater. Chris Paul. Tracy. 51-45. It was 51-47 at the half. We move to the third quarter, and here comes Patty Mills, who has Tim Duncan. Duncan down and Dango. Old man, finger row. <laughs> now, Paul. You know, Charles well, and I talk about out. this. You know, I don't think that's a tough shot when you got Boris Diaw guarding you, because you know you can get by him. You just have to figure out how you're going to get the shot off. And that's what, that's and what he figured out. And it, and it I, I don't like Again, they pick again, switch here, and that made even all, uh, Rivers, Austin Rivers, Rivers come in, got aggressive, got to the basket, played the extremely lane. well. But when you have that five or that four Rivers jump out at you as a point guard or a two guard, yeah, that is lunch meat. Yeah, that's not barbecue chicken. Tim Tim that's meat. lunch meat. Yeah, yeah, Tim lunch Duncan meat. can't Ooh. guard Austin Rivers out on the floor like that. No. Nothing San Antonio run with the Kawhi Leonard there. Again, lunch meat. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. 101 to 90, and then Paul to Redick. Oh, that's cows. Zero by 17 for JJ. Yeah, that guard's killed today. Yeah, and the Clippers. They needed to step up today. Yeah, well, that was you a talk huge. about Redick, you Red, talk Redick, Redick and Crawford, and you talk about Rivers, and, and yeah, uh, they needed to step up. They had Paul. been AWOL the entire series. 114, 105. The Clippers winners. How about Austin Rivers going for 16 on seven of eight field goals? He had 17 points in the first three games combined. And uh, the Clippers in danger of falling behind 3 1 in the series. Say, uh uh. They tie it up at two apiece going to Los Angeles uh, on Tuesday for game five. We get more on this one from Jamie Maggio. What did you think about the early Christmas present your son gave you tonight? That was nice. Uh, we needed it, you know. Um, it's what we, we say, you know, somebody has to step up or not. You'd rather for your, your, your five guys to do it. If not, someone else did. And I thought uh, baby Jamal and Austin. Uh, you know, it's funny. What I told Austin, obviously, his offense was good, but it was his defense that, that I thought um, 
you know, to be able to put him on multiple guys, I thought was huge for us. We had a long film session, you know, yesterday, and we looked at the things we did wrong. And we understand that, you know, we got put pressure on them. You know, we I felt last game we were kind of just like a day school. They didn't really put pressure on them, and that's what we try to do tonight on both ends. When you look at the game and the way that it played out, I mean, it was really, really was a close game. What was the key in pulling this one? Just grind and, and understand that every possession matters. You know, tonight we, we had emphasis on every possession and uh, we, we hold each other accountable. You know, we had a big talk about that yesterday. Just hold each other accountable. Don't take it personal. Austin Rivers was huge, man. He just made plays at the right time. He was aggressive. He went downhill. He put pressure on him. Um, I thought he was the, the guy that, that really changed the game for us. He stepped in and, and uh, made some big shots for, for him, made some big plays for him. Um, and so in a series like this, uh, uh, it always comes down to someone, uh, some X Factor kind of stepping up and giving you a boost. We did game plan for him, but not for him to uh, make the shots that he did. Uh, those are shots that uh, we were kind of willing to give up uh, at that point, contested, and he knocked them out. Clippers with the all-important road win at the AT&T Center, tying up the series and sending it back to Los Angeles for Game 5 on Tuesday. That game will be on TNT. From San Antonio, I'm Jamie Maggio. All right, time for Engineer to Amaze playoff adjustments presented by Quicken Loans. Uh, see the difference between Game 3 and Game 4 as far as uh, Chris Paul goes. He also had a 30-plus game in the opener. What do you do to try to contain... Chris Paul. Well, you know, you just got to try to make it tough for him. You know, he's very, very tricky with the ball. He uh, can shoot inside and outside. I'd rather, him, I'd rather him shoot the jumper than, you know, put it between his legs and, you know, go through the hole. But, you know, he can be stopped. Uh, you know, another idea is, you know, to put, put length on him. I think, you know, Kawhi Leonard can, you know, slow him down a little bit. You guys have a difference of opinion on how this series shakes out. You still say San Antonio. It's now yeah, a best of, best of three Yeah. with two games in L.A. State your case for the Spurs and then you with the Clips. I'm not sure if your backcourt's going to give you 82 points again between Crawford, Paul, Austin Rivers, and J.J. Redick. I just don't know if that could happen again. I, the only thing I say, I, I feel, even though they're older, everyone would say, well, as the series goes on, as they get older, it, it's, it's actually worse for them. I think that's better. I think as a, you have to knock the Spurs out early, be up 3-1, just my opinion. I think that's how it has to go. I think as it goes on, the game gets slower and it gets slower. There's less dunks. There's more possession. There's more mental possessions. And so what happens is that's what they're great at. They're great at mental possessions. That's why they're the champs. That's why they've been in the NBA Finals the last two years because they play mental possession. The longer the series goes on, the more you have to slow down, and that helps them. The Clippers have outplayed them three out of four games. They blew game two. They blew game two. Well, San Antonio had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter in game two. And the Clippers came back and had a two-point yeah. lead with so, possession mean, you, with you, 10 seconds ago and then yeah, turn it over. Couldn't you look at San Antonio and say, hey, if they take care of business? No, everybody they gets a game. run here or there, but the Clippers blew game two. How you look at it? Uh, it's just true. But uh, the Clippers have outplayed them three out of four games. <laughs> uh, uh, I think that if you look at it, they're, I think they're going to win. They just got to get a little bit from J.J. Redick and Matt Barnes because they have to double Blake. Tony Parker, the way they're playing that pick, he's going to get a good shot or get a wide open shot for somebody every single time. And I think uh, the San Antonio is only going to win. They, they won the one game they were going to win in L.A., and they're not going to win another game. And I still like the Clippers. They're not going to win another game. Not another game in L.A. But they'll, So you, you see it going seven. I think, uh, would you want to play the, the stand? I don't even care about that. I, 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 listen, I just think, uh, listen, I'm not going to change my pick. I respect everything the, the Spurs have done, but I just think this year, this is not their time. I think that last game of the regular season when they went from two to six was a really a big deal. And I, I do disagree with you. I think the longer this series goes, I think Blake and DeAndre going to have a big advantage inside. And I think the NBA did not do them any favors playing these games so quickly together. The Spurs have earned enough respect not to have to play Thursday. Wait, they, we, put, we had them Wednesday, Friday, Sunday afternoon. Now it's Tuesday, Thursday. I think that's going to be a quick turnaround for Tim. As, as the, uh, it's going to be a big turnaround for Tim as these games keep going. Because, you know, he's remarkable at 
39, whatever he is. Yeah, 22 or 14 yeah, today. He didn't I, look I, back. I, 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 but every, I, I, everybody goes every other day yeah. now. I mean, when it starts, you might get but, an extra day. But, I'm but saying, now everybody's I'm doing. saying the different one, he's got the bang with DeAndre and Blake. I think they're going to have the advantage going forward. That's, uh, so tell. that's engineered to amaze. And for more, head to NBA.com slash playoff adjustments. Up next, knockdown drag out game four in Boston. Cavs and Celtics when we come back. Welcome back to Inside the NBA, presented by Kia, all playoffs long. Go, guys. Bleacher Report will be posting exclusive content called Uninterrupted, a special all-access look with Draymond Green and LeBron James. Here is Draymond Green. <laughs> Uh, as far as my individual performance, you know, I knew I'd come out and be aggressive. You know, a lot of, they always keen on Steph and Clay, and, you know, open some shots up for me. So I was able to get a few to go early, and once I was able to get a few going, confidence really grew, and I continued to stay aggressive early on and throughout the entire first half. And, you know, it was working for me. So it was a good feeling to see those first couple go now. You know, the rest going into round two is, is critical for us, you know, especially for me with then I rolled my ankle a few times in the series and I you know, actually giving it a chance to heal instead of playing on it every other day. You know, continue to brush some things up and you know scrimmage and get to keep flow going, but you know this rest is critical and hopefully the other teams can continue to play and get a little more tired. But you know, regardless of who we play, uh, Memphis or Portland, it's gonna be a tough, tough series. You know, those are two very good basketball clubs and we know that. But, you know, we continue to be who we are and continue to get better. You know, I like our chances. Are they ever going to show LeBron again now? Looks like I picked up the wrong night to not have closed captioning. Damon Jones. Uh, listen, I'm going to try to put together a little cup and get you all some microphones and TNT if you all can't afford it. Please. Uh, Cleveland and Boston. It's supposed to be like a selfie field. Damn it, you Come on, man. Look, look, the, oh. Raymond Green's entertaining, man. I want to hear what he's got to say. Okay. Well, right. Moscow was entertaining tonight, and the Cleveland Cavaliers, and this game got very physical, Ernest. Oh, it's an excellent lead-in, in fact, uh, after we watch this play. Yeah, that was a physical play things, right there. Ernest. I believe things are going to get uh, chippy. Yeah. Uh, there's the burn. Now, here you go. Kelly Olynyk, Kevin Love, tangled up. Oh. Dislocated left shoulder for Kevin Love, who immediately leaves the premises. Mm. Wow, tough break. Tough break. We'll get into that in a bit uh, on, oh. on what Love oh, say man. after Come the on. game. Sir, Kendrick pick. Come on, Kendrick. Puts uh, Jay Crowder down and then. Be careful who you push. Is he he pushed the wrong guy. Oh, yeah, he pointed a finger right in his mug. Well, he pushed his head. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. But you see, Jay Crowder went at him, though, because you can't push the wrong guy, see? One guy's going forward, one guy's going backwards. You know what that means. Flagrant one on Perk. Come Double on, Tex Perk. on Perkins and Crowder. And then. This was crazy. Oh. Crowder. This is As crazy. J.R. Smith swings the right hand and decks it. Ooh. That's, a, that's just dirty, man. Ain't nothing you can say about it. You watch the punch and also watch the left. Oh. Hand. So he strains the left knee. I just hope that's all it is, man. Oh. I can hear close Chris Tucker now. That's a close Kenny. fist, too. Kenny, I can hear Chris Tucker. Oh, man, that's, that's nothing funny about that one, Sean. No, that's man. awful. No, 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 no. Two and Smith. Smith. Look, and then, yeah. but that was a close fist one, Jay. Come on. We, uh, we wait yeah. and see what the league has to I don't even understand that. what he did wrong. No, the, now, keep in mind, this was two years ago to the day oh, that, it, that this happened, also in Boston. Oh, my oh, God. Happened to Jason Terry, and uh, that earned J.R. Smith what, a one-game suspension. Them when two he clips the right there are living proof why we're basketball players and not boxers. Oh, I let you. Boston, by the way, outscoring Cleveland 25-13 in the third to cut the gap. That's Marcus Smart, and here is Jared Sullinger off the Smart miss. So they cut the lead down to nine, and it was 70-61, to Cleveland going to the fourth. You never LeBron. thought, you knew this was over, though. Here goes that man, Ernie. Usher? Yeah. That's what Shaq would have been if he hadn't been a basketball player. And Usher. 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 Isaiah Thomas scores, and then <laughs> look what he does here as LeBron's trying to inbound. He's, he's playing defense out of bounds on him. The ref know, is just standing there watching. I know, we have it again. It. Check this out. Look at the ref just standing right there. <laughs> 
The ref just standing right there watching. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas is trying not to uh, smile too. But I don't understand how the ref missed, he missed that. that. He missed it, man. He doesn't have a camera up on top of the roof. He missed it. Six point he game. The ball gets knocked out of bounds. He didn't and miss it's, that one. It's Boston basketball. Yeah, he went to replay. Come on, he's, this guy's one of the top refs out there. Oh, three. Kenny, all good. Three, Kenny. GG gets no man. good. And that is that. Cleveland Cavaliers sweep their way into the Eastern Conference semifinals. LeBron is 10-0 in the first round. That's their first sweep since 2009 when they swept the Pistons and the Hawks in the first two rounds. And um, they win it 101-93. Wouldn't you like more on this uh, series clincher? Of course you would. Rachel Nichols. The Cavaliers may have left Boston with a sweep Sunday, but they packed some problems with them on the team plane. J.R. Smith said he was, quote, nervous as hell that the NBA will suspend him for the flagrant foul he committed on Jay Crowder, a blow that injured Crowder and got Smith ejected from game four. And Kevin Love, who dislocated his shoulder in this tussle with Kelly Olynyk, minced no words, calling Olynyk's actions, quote, Bush League and calling on the league for discipline. I have no doubt in my mind that he did that on purpose. That's just not a basketball play. Oh, the league will take a look at it, and it, it better be swift and just. You know, I've seen a lot of tie-ups in my day, and, um, you know, that, that tie-up was a little different. You know, and, uh, you know, we want, you want to play the game of basketball the right way. You want to be physical, but you never want the game to get out of hand where you have injuries. Um, we can say the same thing. We're all men here. We don't need to cry and tell you guys. So it is what it is. It's playoff basketball. We don't want to hurt anybody, but things happen, and, and you got to move forward. As they do move forward, the Celtics know they're leaving these playoffs having overachieved, but also knowing they're unsatisfied. I think the best way to phrase it is I like our progress, but I like to win. So I'm disappointed right now. The best thing that, that, that I take from this year is that there's, there's growth, there's building, there's progress. Now we have to build on it. As for the Cavaliers, they will wait and see on both Smith and Love. Love had his shoulder popped back into place in the locker room during the game. He left the arena in a sling and was scheduled for an MRI upon his return to Cleveland. Although he did say he was feeling better than he expected. And he was hopeful he'll be available when Cleveland starts its next series. In Boston, I'm Rachel Nichols. And that series could start as early as Saturday if Chicago wins tomorrow night to knock out the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, I'll see y'all Saturday. Um, Hennessy, never stop, never settle. Uh, it's either Chicago or Milwaukee in the next round. And the Cavs 3-1 and one against both of those teams. Well, let, let's pick apart uh, this Kevin Love situation and this J.R. Smith situation. Um, First of all, the Cavs, let me say this one thing about the Cavaliers. They, LeBron's talking all that noise about... That's not a basketball play, and that's... Listen, uh, his two players were worse than Olenix. What J.R. Smith did and what Kendrick Perkins done were a lot worse than what Kelly Olenek did. That's just a dirty play right there. You could hurt a guy's neck right there, man. I mean, that, that's just... That's worse. You know, that's not a basketball play, and this is not a basketball play. I mean, this is just crazy, man. I mean, he, uh, he knocked this guy out, man. He, he could have just shredded his knee. I hope it's just a, I just hope, I do, I hope it's just a sprain like they said. He could have blew out his entire knee. So You Cal said he, earlier you thought he could, was going to get 10 games. You think? Is, well, because he's you, a repeat offender. Yeah, but do you really think he's going to get a 10-game suspension? I, I for think them? he, listen, I think he's going to get five at least. Ernie, that's the second time you you just showed the other play. Showed the thing from a couple years ago. You can't yeah. just go around hitting people in the face. And there was a, there, <laughs> he got a 10-game suspension back in 2006. Remember, Denver and, and New York had a big brawl at the Garden in New York, and uh, he got a 10-game suspension in that one. Uh, but what did he get for last time? Uh, one game. Okay, he got one game for the Jason Terry hit. I think he deserves five games for that dude. He, I mean, that kid's knee. I mean, that's like, it was like you're watching a boxing match where, you know, when you somebody get knocked out, their body just collapses. Your knee doesn't co collapse like that. Did Olenek do that on purpose? Did he tangle him up on purpose? Yes. Did he try to dislocate his shoulder? No. Was it, it a was dirty it, was play? It, no, it's not a, no, it's not a dirty play. You know, you, you tussle, you grapple, you wrestle. Chuck went through it. Kenny didn't go through it because he's a little man. He was scared. He liked to shoot jumpers. I went through it. Hey, it's playoff basketball. 
I, I, I mean, my question is, if his shoulder wasn't out of socket, would we even be having this conversation? No. I can answer for you. It's no. It wasn't a dirty play. It was an accident. Yeah, I, I think it was uh, more accidental and more trying to be physical, like holding on to him because yeah. he's holding on to me. I'm going to hold on and exactly. see if I can get the ball, if I can hold, get the ball without the referee seeing because he's already locked in. You see that a lot of times on big guys. Once they put their arm underneath, they lock in. And they won't let you go if they don't want they don't want you to because exactly. they're trying to get the basketball. Yeah, let's, so. Otis Thorpe used to do that. Oh, all the let's time. Go, let's all go back time. and look at it one more time. Charles, you take me through it too. I mean, if you're 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 battling for a rebound down low. Yeah, what, you, what you're trying to do is hold the guy and get it with one arm. That's because right here, Kevin yeah, Lugg is holding him yeah, first. Yeah. Yeah. You're really trying to hold the guy, and the guy just pulled him away. They're both holding each other. Look. And he he just listen, they're, and they're just I think Kevin Love is gonna regret calling it Bush League. I think he's wrong in that. But let me say this. Okay. He intentionally held them, but yes. he did not. It wasn't no malice. No. But let me say this. If these guys are going to be throwing words around like Bush League, what J.R. Smith and Kendrick Perkins did was Bush League. You can't, because uh, one of your best players got hurt. It's unfortunate. But you can't be throwing a word, word, words around like Bush League after one of your guys just clocked somebody yeah. and, one, and one guy just <laughs> almost decapitated another guy. I, I wonder if any of that goes back to... Jay Crowder saying nobody on that team is intimidating. I wonder if, if any yeah, of that. Goes, even if it goes does, back. like I know, I'm, like my I'm point not is saying, this, like good point, Ernie. Good point, Ernie. No, that, it, that it does. No, it but okay. listen, I'm just saying sometimes. Yeah, because they want to send him. That, that's what it was from. It was yeah. like he wants to send him a message, but they still played hard. It wasn't like Celtics didn't play yeah. hard. They still had a chance. Even down when they were down, they got it, cut it to six. You know, with about a minute to go, and then they were like, we're still trying to fight, like to win this game. Like to me. As a guard, you know, when I was 170 pounds soaking wet at the time. That was a long time ago. No, when I played I, in the NBA, I, I, 170 I soaking wet. 170. Soaking wet. If a guy hit me hard, I wasn't nervous to shoot again. Like, <laughs> doesn't make, it didn't make yeah, me yeah, nervous right. to shoot. Yeah, right. Why would I be nervous to shoot the basketball again? You're if not, I fire you right now, If I fire you right now, you're not going to come back in there twice. Why I not? guarantee you. Oh, you, you want to try it right now? Why, why wouldn't I? You want to try it right now? Well, why wouldn't I? Let me make no this, way. No way. Let me make this one point. Why no wouldn't way. I, though? You wouldn't. Let, let me make this one point. Yeah, because you know why? Oh! Because of that right there. That's why. That's why. But I would come back. Playing, we're playing basketball. I'm not. I'm not a afraid of, of anybody on a basketball court. Yeah, but a lot of guys don't like that contact. A lot of guys, a lot of guys, guys don't like that physical contact. Just have you ever shot away for contact because no, you got fouled? And I have you ever shot away against no, the Detroit Pistons and bad boys? And those were some. Some they were some dirty dogs. Because you're worrying about Akeem Olajuwon, you, and you're worrying about me coming through the lane. I'm a dish it to yeah, Akeem. I'm, I'm, I see you coming. Yeah. And he's gonna dunk it. And you're gonna be mad. You're not gonna let Akeem dunk. So but if you're killing us, hold on, Chuck. But if you're killing us, I gotta touch you up a few times. So when you do, I do believe Shaq is right. But yeah, you're not. But you're not afraid because you players are not gonna keep. They're gonna keep coming down lane. Because you don't like that contact. You're not coming. No, finish your last thing. I just want to make this one point. You get touched up to wake a guy up, to get him out the zone. You don't touch him up because he's scared. It's like he's in a zone, and you touch him up, and it's like, yo, you're on earth. Remember, you're shooting the ball too well. That's the way I think. I want to say this one thing about I, – I, I'm a guy who believes in cheap shots. Uh, cheap it, shots? Into, well, let me – I want to make sure I clean this up right. It's part of the game. I, I believe – Kevin Johnson, when, when he played in Phoenix and I played in Philly, he was killing us one night. He scored like 26 the first half. He had like 36 after three quarters. And I said, I told either Johnny Dawkins or Hurst Hawkins, I said, let him come down the lane. And I tried to break his ribs. I did. I, I mean, I tried to hit him hard just to wake him up a little bit. Touch him let, up? Let him touch him up. Okay. That falls under but let me say up. this. Did he come back? Uh, yeah, he kept, but he, great pleasure. But you want to let him know. Did, coming you want to you give him something else to think about. But, but he had to wake up. Yeah. But let me say this one thing about the Kendrick Perkins and J.R. Smith thing. I believe that I can hit you anywhere down here in that fair game. You cross a line where you start hitting people in their head and things. And that's the problem I had with the Kendrick Perkins thing and the J.R. Smith thing. I think it's important to, to physically, like if a guy, like in baseball, if a guy's crowding the plate, I think you have a right to get him off the plate. But you can't throw at his head. Uh, but in basketball, the thing that concerned me about those two Cleveland plays, man, you got to be careful with people's heads. Like, you know, if he had Jay Crowder the right way under his chin and take his neck back, he could hurt his neck. Exactly. Uh, before, we, before we go to break, let's put the Celtics season to bed. Uh, and you heard Brad Stevens talking about uh, uh, their year. And they make the playoffs. 
uh, obviously you get swept. You don't have a lead in the, in the second half in the series. And, you, and here, here are your key free agents. Uh, Brandon Bass, Jay Crowder, who's restricted, Jarepko. A um, couple of first-round picks, one from the Clips. and um, Got a bright future. Yeah. I think, uh, and I think that the, 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 the next year they got three number one picks. So they got how many two this year. Oh, no. 19? Something I've never like seen you hit a guy dirty. Zero. I've never seen you hit a dirty. I've never seen you hit a guy dirty. Oh! 19 years. Because no, you know guys can get you when they, they're up in the air, come up here. I've never sure, seen you hit a guy dirty. And this is what happened the last time. Oh, yeah, go right Wait, there. no, but this is what happened nice. afterwards. That was not nice. Yeah, talking that trash, yeah. ain't it? You gotta touch him up, America. Yeah, it was all because he wanted the answers to who was play for. Oh, snitches yeah. get stitches, huh, Ernie? Well, what do you think I handed you right oh, there? Some money. Oh, can we see what Ernie <laughs> did afterwards? Answers. Oh. Here's the answer. Uh, when we come back, uh, one more game on the Sunday slate. Would it be the finale in the Raptors Wizards series? Yes. I, w I wouldn't. Wizards have never swept a best of seven series until game four against the Toronto Raptors. Deal is yet to get involved. Peter, Bradley, oh, Peter. Carry, a good pass. There he is, a three. Carry on the Go ahead and say it, Chuck. Bradley Bill, what? Oh, hey, he can drink, gaining on Clay Thompson and James Harden. <laughs> How fast? Oh, oh dude, what a bullet. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Very frustrating day for Kyle Lowry. Wait, what did he do then? Yeah, he didn't have that focus today, Ernie. What did he do? He did nothing. Yeah. That, that's why he was upset. He didn't play well. He whistled right there, too. That, no, that's a foul. That foul wasn't a foul. Paul Pierce. Tell you what, this is the Washington team we've been waiting on all year. They're playing terrific. Came in shooting 56% from distance in the series. Greatest baskets because we need to show a Raptor basket. Okay. Good move here. Get in the lane. Oh, Flota. Oh, man, he got it all. He can just stay healthy. He has it all. 48-31. He played well this, this um, auto quarter, even though he missed this. But Gortak played better. Oh, Shermer. Gortak played better. Very nice. 64 to 47. It was 66-50 at the half, and the beat goes on. You know what? If the if the Wizards oh. make it to the West Eastern Conference Finals, I think I might sleep at the White House. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna call the president. I want to sleep in the in, in, in Lincoln bedroom. I think you're getting ahead of yourself. What do you on think? Very many fronts. I'm just thinking about that. You know, we 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 like that. We're cool. You're John Wall, cool. you're a criminal. <laughs> this thing got out of hand, big time. Still in the third quarter, 82 to 61. Good pass, all the pass. Truth, same spot. Wow. In fact, the Wiz had 102 points. That's why they brought you there, Paul. Oh, my get God. It. Please stop get this. Oh, oh my it. God. Please stop oh, that. Sprinkler going What's, what's a sprinkler? Oh, I want that? my grass to die. That's a sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? 125. Don't hate on the player, baby. Oh, come on, man. 94. Hate on the player. So the Wizards, who got swept by the Raptors in the regular season, three zip. Sweep them in the postseason, and uh, that's five straight home wins for the Wiz. And, uh, and as we point out, their first sweep in a best of seven, and it's only the second time a division winner has been swept uh, in a first round best of seven. Miami that beat by Chicago back in 07. Uh, so now it's Washington against either Atlanta. That or happened to Brooklyn. you one time, didn't it, Jack? Yeah, six times. No, oh. when you won a division and got swept. Yeah, also went to the final six times too. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> so the uh, your Wizards uh, hitting their stride at the right time. You know, Arnie, this is a team, you know, after last year uh, in the playoffs, they won in the first round, and then they didn't play in the second round. And they're playing fantastic again this year in the first round. This is a team we expected all season. They got a dynamite backcourt. They got Nene. Uh, and Gortat down low, Paul Pierce brings veteran experience, but the key is the two guards. They make everything go. Like I said, they're behind Thompson and Curry as the second best backcourt in the NBA, and when they get it going, uh, I guess the biggest reason they've been inconsistent is Bradley Beal's been injured all year. But if those two guards play well and they get anything from those big guys and some spot stuff from here from Paul Pierce, it's going to be a tough matchup for whoever they play in the second round. John Wall. 50 assists in that four-game sweep. Hey, the Monday schedule um, is, oh, thanks you. Thank you, Jeremy. I'm sorry. The Toronto Raptors season is over, as we just pointed out. Um, franchise record 49 wins, but a, an extremely disappointing way to end the season uh, with a sweep when you got home court. 
Uh, Lou Williams is a free agent, Amir Johnson, Tyler Hansborough. And um, so what are, you, what are you doing right now, Kenny, if you're Toronto? Oh, in terms of your next year? Well, yeah. I, I, you know, they have to decide if Lou Williams, you know, being a sixth man of the year, it will have that kind of energy off the bench again. I think overall, you know, DeMar DeRozan's injury, when that happened early in the season, that was a big blow to them that, that messed up their continuity. But uh, I don't know if they have a, a, um, a, a post player that you can consistently go to. Um, and, and I think that perimeter offense is probably a little bit dated now. Uh, so I would look for some inside play. They, they need a big guy down low to go with Valachunas uh, to, to give them consistent low post scoring, and they got to improve their bench. It's a great drop off on their bench. They net, need to improve their bench. Yeah. Lou Williams is good, but yeah, yeah, but that's it. Yeah. Uh, but the main thing, they need a, another big guy. I agree with both guys, but they also need to learn how to maintain focus because, you know, they started off, you know, the first part of the year before the All Star break, and we were talking about them, you know, singing their praises. And then something happened after the All-Star break. We don't want to know what happened. I'm not going to say it was because of the injuries, but they somehow lost focus. And, you know, Kyle, Kyle Lowry has to, has to do better in the postseason. You know, can't get into foul trouble, especially when you're the captain of the ship. You know, you, know, you got to learn how to, you know, control the game a little bit more better. So I, uh, I hosed the guys upstairs by uh, skipping the Raptors and going to the promo. Then they hosed me back by going to the promo while we talked about the Raptors. So now we're on the same page, and here's tomorrow's schedule. Hawks and Nets NBA TV. TNT, Bucks and Bulls, and then the Grizzlies and the Blazers. And for the latest on Mike Conley's injury, here's Lewis Johnson. While the Grizzlies prepared for game four on this court, Mike Conley had already flown back to Memphis, and a source close to him told me that he had had a second opinion and that surgery had been recommended to repair more than one fracture in his face. Now that surgery is scheduled for Monday morning at 7.30 a.m., in Memphis. Meanwhile, back here, the team trying to figure out how they close out this series without their star point guard. He, he does so much for us uh, with the ball, with the defense, setting setting us up. Uh, we, you know, you guys that have been around us a long time, he, he shoulders a huge amount of responsibility for us. So, uh, you know, everybody else has to just pick it up, uh, keep getting better. And, you know, we've done a great job, you know, keeping the turnovers down. Uh, and now, you know, what do we do from here? Just got to be ready. And uh, what, what better way to come in and, and fight adversity? You know, we got a, a point guard that's injured. And uh, we, we, we got guys that's ready to step up. And uh, it's a challenge. And we have to face it. And, uh, Face it with full force. Can't replace Mike. You know, I mean, he's a great player. You know, I mean, he's just capabilities of making plays on both ends of the court. And so I think that's why you have Nick and Baino, two different styles of players that can help us. And uh, Nick definitely on the defensive end, and Baino definitely on the offensive end. Baino Udre, who attempted to warm up for game three but really struggled with the cutting and lateral movements, told us after a practice here on Sunday that the right ankle sprain had gotten much better and he's expected to be available for game four. All right, thank you very much, Lewis Johnson. Uh, it's that time. Wow, we're right. going to take a break, and then with these teams uh, being eliminated, it is time for Kenny's yes. Gone Fishing when we come back. It's time for EJ's We Know Satellite. Presented by No One. Time for our first fishing expedition. This all goes back to a Kenny the Jet Smith uh, thing way back when you started with us. You started, said, baby. Somebody gets knocked, it's time to go fishing. Time to go fishing. And it, it has really taken on a life of its own. And so. Yeah. Oh, oh. Thurston Howard III, Ernie Johnson. Oh, Looks like Thurston Howard. Yes, sir. Got a good fit on his hat this year. It's good. Well, first up, going fishing. The Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics. Wahlberg. Oh, that's the, the Boston Celtics. You got Tom Wahlbergers. Brady. Wal oh, oh, the Wahlbergs on there. Boston you got, Celtics. You got Kelly Olynyk. Matt Damon. Kevin Loves Arm. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was just not that's bad. Uh, that's Rock. Fun. That's a good one. Rock Landers uh, on the teacher. Mark Wahlberg. These and are the things. Matt you, Damon. You need to. You need to just pay uh, attention to something. Yeah, and sometimes you just need to freeze them off at home and just go back and look at them and see Kevin's. what Alex is up to. <laughs> Here, the New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, there's Reese Witherspoon. You can see her. And uh, yeah, man. John Goodman. Man, Ellen is there. I, I mean, boys. I mean, 140 hey, million dollars. I tell you what, man. If y'all never get a chance to see that Swamp People show. 
Uh-huh. That's one of the best shows on television. Oh, Trombone God. Shorty. I want to meet my boy Troy down there. That's Trombone Shorty? Uh, RJ Trombone and the Shorty. guys. That was one of the great things about uh, All-Star Y'all Weekend. Y'all never watched that? Yeah, play that. You gotta watch Swamp People, no, man. Uh, Uncle and, Junior? And the Toronto Raptors fish. Oh, my Alex God. Trebek. Alex Trebek. Uh, uh, Alex Trebek. There's a mayor, Chuck. There's a mayor, Chuck. Hey, mayor, we coming to Toronto All-Star game next year. Uh, Get it ready for me. Bob and Doug McKenzie back there in the uh, That's Bob and Doug. Background. Eh? Uh, it's cold out there. I hate that ice fiction. <laughs> that ice fiction. Drake. I, started I from not, the, hey, Drake, hey. started from the bottom. Y'all still live. Hey. Jamar DeRozan. Hey, got me the, and the mayor. Got me and the, the mayor. Y'all might not see me all All-Star weekend next year. So me and the mayor going to be getting it on. How's that going to promise? Differ? How's that going to differ from other All-Star weekends, you promise? Charles? <laughs> it's the same, isn't it, right? Promise. <laughs> <laughs> cross the lines, Kenny. Hey, come on. So, we don't cross the lines. So that's, uh, that's a wrap for Inside. It's presented by Kia uh, for Shaq and Kenny. And for Charles, this is Ernie Johnson. Monday night, we're back at you. Another playoff double dip right here on TNT. That is an actual fish, I'm told. Oh, catch him, baby. Catch him. <laughs> catch him. <laughs> I got me one. <laughs> oh, you're out of the way, Jet. Got him. <laughs> <laughs>